You know, and now, live from the Night Views Radio Studio, it's the Rob Saul Show. Please welcome South Jersey's favorite single dad and radio's most bitter divorcee, Rob Saul. Oh, hello, everybody. Welcome to the Rob Saul Show. We are live on a special night. 
Sunday night, and uh, with me uh, tonight is a, uh, a very good friend of mine. Uh, she's been on the show years, years back. In fact, uh, we opened the show. That years was years and years and years <laughs> and years and years. And I know we're both so young, but uh, we both just celebrated our birthday. I turned forty-one, and Tamara, what thirty-nine, something like that. At but, least, uh, yeah. Again. <laughs> It's uh, we we're what are you? Uh, we're a day apart, right? I'm the 17th or the 18th. I'm the 18th. Yeah. yeah. So, wow. Leo Power. But uh, for those no, of you who don't know Tamara Champlin, she has uh, uh, she's a singer songwriter. She uh, her writing partner is Michael Caruso, who also has done the show, who writes our wrote our opening theme song, "Good When You're Gone." Uh, I, wonder, I hadn't heard it. I don't think I've heard that version of it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's shortened for uh, it's shortened for uh, podcasting and radio, but uh, well, I, maybe that's just a you know different uh, edit of, of it, but it sounds really neat. It's really good yeah. sounding. Uh, but Tamara, yeah, you've worked with artists like Elton John, Leon Russell, Nikki Hopkins, Steve Lukather, Andrea Carlson, of course, your husband, my uh, childhood hero, bad crush, Bill Champlin. But uh, yeah. it's. Uh, you, uh, you've, you, you, you've made your way around uh, the uh, music business, and uh, man, you're still, uh, you're still writing. I'm still, and, uh, yeah, I'm still alive and, and writing and singing yeah. a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you look great. Thank you. Thanks. It's good to be here. It's good to see you. You yeah, look great. No, you got a whole, you. you got a whole thing behind you. I like that. Yes, yes. Well, I gotta, you know, in case any breaking news comes in, Tam, I have to uh, get ready. You know? <laughs> okay, you're gonna have to stop right now. Stop right there. <laughs> uh, in case a bulletin comes in, we might have to interrupt yeah. this. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, hey, yeah. how's it going? JG's Lounge, how you doing, buddy? But, um, yeah, uh, so, uh, I know, so this uh, is a whole different format, isn't it? You had somebody else, you were work a couple of other guys you were playing with, you were doing your yeah, thing, yeah, with. We, you know. I don't work well with others, so uh, no, I'm, I'm kidding. I don't um, <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, because we're Leos, we're a day apart. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we like we like to. They say Leos like to look in mirrors a lot, and like I got yeah, a huge yeah. mirror behind me, you know. Yeah, yeah. Then, <laughs> <laughs> fond um, of themselves, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, now I mean, Doug, Doug's Doug Nelson, my news guy, that he still sits in and does a show with me, but uh, he is under the weather this week. But uh, oh. yeah, I mean. Uh, me and Doug still, uh, uh, I still have Doug Nelson on. He's the, he's the one that lasted longer, uh, longest uh, through the, the family members yeah. on here and the friends. Uh, Doug Nelson, a man I met from news in Louisiana, is uh, still oh. with me. <laughs> good, good. Uh, and, yeah. and yeah, I, I got off the plane from uh, London the other day. I landed in Houston, and my brother-in-law picked us up, my sister and me. And then they took me to, I, then I had to drive down to the other little airport and kind of commuter airport hobby and fly on Southwest back to LA. And uh, my brother finds out yesterday, my brother-in-law had COVID. So uh -huh. <laughs> and while we were in the, you know, I didn't really, you know, I wasn't hugging him or anything, but I was in the car with him. So I got home and I, and I said, God, I got I don't want to get Bill sick or get sick from that. Yeah. stuff. So I went, went all the way through Europe and nothing happened, you know, and, uh, and here we, you know, I got there. So it's like, we just, Bill's happened to have some ivermectin. I just start taking that stuff just to make sure we didn't get anything. Ivermectin. What's that? Is that the one that they were saying was the horse tranquilizer or something? Yeah, it's a, a, it's a parasite. It's yeah. a parasite. Thing, but, but if you, you know, if you're, it keeps you, can keep you from getting it. Any of those medicines you take, if you catch it right early, you, any of them would help. Yeah, yeah. Any of them that they've prescribed, I think, would help. So I've never been to London. Was this your first time, or you've been before? No, I've been there several times. In fact, I was there in the '90s a lot. I I was recording with Andy Taylor, and uh, bef uh, before my album came out, I had already done so much of the album here with with my friends, with the guys I wrote everything with, Terry Wilson and Kevin Dukes, and um, and I was Michael and you know, so. and Randy Cantor. And then I went to London that time and, and worked with him on it and then came back and did put the old record out instead. But, um, and, and yeah. so I've been there several times touring, you know, like I've been with Bill oh, and yeah. I've been on vacation, you know, just gone for some time. I stayed there for several months when I was working there. So, yeah. 
but, but it was pretty nice just to go and uh, hang out and, and, and be a tourist, sort of. I, I was going to say a friend and, and guest to the show uh, uh, goes out there a lot. And I was about to tell you who it was. And then I felt stupid because I was like, I was going to say Marcy, but you, you're the one that oh, introduced Marcy, me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you're the one that introduced you know, me. Marcy, to right? You've done, <laughs> yeah. Marcy's been on your show, right? Marcella. Yeah, yeah. Marcella yeah. did too, right? She's an amazing singer. She's so, such, I, she's darling. She I love her. I, I got to, and she's so nice. I went to, uh, I had a coffee with her in LA. I think the day before, like the day after we had lunch. Really? I just love yeah. her. I mean, mm. she and yeah. Bill, I think might've worked together years ago too, but then we, uh, Oh yeah. She, uh, she did tell me she worked with Bill because, uh, you know, her, and we, worked together on a whole, we did a whole record of backgrounds for somebody together. And yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Bill used to have her do the uh, the the Mr. Bill voice from Saturday Night Live. The, yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> <'Cause>, <laughs> you know, she can get that high. <laughs> She's amazing. She's such a great. And, and I, I like I like her band that that she did uh, Shakespeare's Sister and everything. So she's she's really amazing. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's she's awesome. had a great great career. Yeah, she did working with like Eric Clapton and uh, you know then you know Siobhan Fahey yeah. from Banana Rama. They did that Shakespeare sister and you know that was I know. really really well, cool. Well, I, I bought her her uh, recent solo album too. Over uh, like oh yeah, it, yeah. It was uh, she puts out a lot. Actually, yeah. we were we were listening to the whole thing while we were driving to Las Vegas one time. Oh, and, nice. Yeah, entire. And I don't listen to. I don't get you know get to just sit and listen to everybody's records. I'm just yeah. kind of scattered that way. And we were happened to be in the car. Bill's really good about putting a CD on and playing it. You know. Yeah, it. playing it through. Yeah, I know. I I like what I, I I've gotten into the vinyl again. I buy everything on vinyl. In fact, I have the whole Shakespeare sister collection on vinyl. I got a you know mm. all most of Bill's like older solo stuff that was released on vinyl. I have it. Um, and, uh, well, you yeah, know, he just got, uh, uh, the ownership of his, uh, his runaway record. Really? And I, yeah. And I was thinking of, um, well, we got it back cause we're trying to, you know, just get all some things together and just put it out on, on our Wonderground label and, and that would do be, it in uh, vinyl, be cool do it in vinyl and some CDs and. Yeah, do like yeah. an anniversary, like a uh, vinyl set yeah. for Runaway. Well, if we, had the, if we had the single album, too, that would have been even better, you know, to have the two uh, You know, and I, I know uh, Runaway is like probably Bill's uh, most popular uh, solo album, but single is, I love singles. Yeah. Single's my favorite. Yeah, <laughs> but I think we missed the window for that one, apparently. <laughs> I have an old, I got on Amazon or eBay, I got a, a used copy, it's kind of, Beat up, but I do have a single on vinyl. Well, that's really good. Yeah, yeah. so I just figured we might just try and put some 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 vinyl, you know, yeah. reproduce it in vinyl. Yeah. yeah. Uh, look how nice Rob Saul looks today. What a nice young man. I know, aren't I? <laughs> Who's uh, Dr. Harvey <laughs> Quinn? Uh, these are just uh, listeners, people in the chat, you know, uh, that are uh, that are watching me uh, blab with you, Tam. Oh, cool. Hey everybody, but, uh, how you doing? Say, I shaved my uh, beard off. It's the first time I've been beard free in uh, over ten years. Oh wow, I can barely see you because you're kind of in the dark there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's that's what not I as mean. big as mine in this picture, you know, and yeah. the two <laughs> monitors. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you, uh, you and uh, Caruso are still writing together. You put out a uh, new single. Uh, this month, you know, Super yeah, we, we had the song we had, you know, it was like Super Flower Moon. And I yeah. saw this, you know, and we, we threatened to get it written for some time and we finally did it. And uh, and so we started it and Will kind of did the production on the tracks for us. And then uh, my friend uh, John Zaka, who's doing the Bobby Kimball documentary was staying right. at the house and he, so he, he took it and uh, I sent him the files and he mixed it. And then, but, but in the meantime, we got Steve Picaro to put some more keyboards on it. Very so nice. it's really just a, you know, it was one of a small group of friends on this record. It was really kind of cool. Yeah. And uh, so where can folks get that if they want to hear it? I mean, we'll that's, play it that's on, it's all downloads and stuff on Spotify and uh, Apple music and whatever. Um, 
YouTube and just about every one of those, you know, one yeah. of the formats I could tell you, but I'm pretty sure it's pretty well available everywhere. I know it's Spotify for sure. And uh, yeah. all the others. I can get it on my old uh, iPhone on the uh, iTunes subscription. I, yeah, have. I think so. Yeah. I think iTunes and it's that I didn't say no to anything. Uh, when, it came, you know, when it came up for that <laughs> why would you let me let me no, look it up no, it's, it's it's uh yeah they're not in physical copies yet but i'm gonna you know put a mm. couple oh, more things it is. Yep. super flower moon by tamra champlin yeah so that's it and uh, yeah, that's a, i'm playing it right from my phone here the, there you go we'll listen to that in a, a little bit but uh okay. yes uh, how, do you and uh, Michael uh, write this recently, or is this something that you just uh, pulled well, out? Well, it's been the past year or so. We wrote it and you know tried to get it together and put it out and yeah, back and forth, back and forth a, a lot. So, uh, and, and I'm probably going to do a remix on it and do it uh, a little bit more electric, you know, a little bit more. Oh, yeah, you're going to have like Cardi B do like a rap in between on the remix? No, no, not like that. No, just a little bit more. <laughs> It's just, just another, you know, yeah. another version of it. Another, yeah, and, another. And, and I'm sure, I'm sure, you know, anybody else, I'm sure Michael might be doing one eventually. And, and yeah, you and, and whoever I mean, else you, want to. you and, uh, you and Michael write some, uh, some great freaking songs. You know, together. we've written some, we've got a body of work that's pretty interesting. And it, and it's like they're all very visual unusual songs you know and they're they're it's just it's like and each one of them is like a, a short story or a play it, yeah it's yeah really you know uh, there's uh probably one of my favorites i mean besides we were talking uh before we went on the air like I've known tam were so long she was asking how old my daughter was and she's 15 and i remember uh oh. sending, i remember sending tamra a video texting it to her emailing it whatever we're doing and uh, yeah is my daughter uh singing her song shura when she was like two or three years old so dancing sweet. around in her dora dora the explorer pajamas and <laughs> <laughs> now now she's in high school it's it's crazy wow. but... <laughs> what grade she's a she's a sophomore 10th tenth, 10th tenth grade oh yeah darn yeah. Um, well, but, yeah. uh, but uh, yeah, that one. But uh, I would say my uh, my favorite is a uh, vagabond heart, and uh, uh, you know that's one of my favorite songs. And I don't know if anybody has ever really gotten the the best of that song yet. You know, I mean, you know? listen, I will say the closest, uh, the, the best of it is um, which I love. Uh, I'll put, see if I could play a, a clip of it right now. Is uh, if you don't mind, because I still listen to it. It's on my playlist. Like when I'm Which on the it? elliptical, it's uh, it's your son, Will, singing it. Yeah, I think so too. I think he did a he did it really really well. Yeah, this is uh, yeah. I, I always thought he was uh, this was always like my favorite version of what I really I've like about. to do it. Maybe like along mm. with uh, like just like almost bluegrass with, with you know, but more yeah. of tempo. With, with like two people singing it together. Yeah. This is like a gospel, but I love it. This version right here. And hold all your dreams in the dark. You can ask a rebel to turn the other cheek. And you can hold a vagabond one talented son you have he can sing yes, gorgeous. <laughs> it's like, it's like butter, it's, it's, <laughs> i mean it's one of my favorite songs i'm just we're really proud of it and i don't think yeah. anybody else anybody's really found it yet you know yeah it's, i remember um, yeah i think caruso sent me that version years and years ago and he did the show because i was talking about how much i i love the song and he said uh well this is the best uh, this is the the version I think is like truest. To yeah, the, we sat down uh, and wrote that. We were in Barney's Beanery one day, and we mm -hmm. started writing this song. And, you know, and, there, and there's like jukeboxes going all all over the place, and we just sat over in a corner. And we started writing it, and yeah. and it was so cool. It really was. And 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 
I, don't, I just think, you know, like a, a Alison Krauss or somebody needs to sing it, you know, Alison Krauss. Oh, yeah. And, and yeah. uh, it'd be yeah. really cool. It's just, it's a good song. It's a, it's a great story, great lyric. Oh, yeah. The a, lyrics are beautiful. I mean, it's just like, it, it, it's, it's, it's poetry almost. It's just, uh, it's really good. That's, uh, uh, the first time I heard it is we were doing a show on CBS radio. And uh, it was called uh, Night Views Radio. It was me and uh, my cousin Travis Oson at the time. And uh, we had the Champlins uh, Skype in on our final show. And uh, you performed that, Vagabond Heart. You did uh, oh, wow. Shura, Vagabond Heart, and then uh, No Place Left to Fall had recently been released. So uh, we did yeah. uh, Angelina and uh, Lover Like That. I still remember the four songs that were done on that show. Oh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you just played uh, Shira before this, right? Oh, yeah, so yeah. We can, opened the show just, with like a... Yeah. I was just wondering if you came on. I was like, wow, that sounds kind of neat. Yeah, yeah, that was good. And uh, yeah, that's what's this. I was like looking at it. I said, uh, it's, the time has uh, flown by. I it was in my uh, late 20s, early uh, 30s when uh, that was being yeah. filmed. <laughs> it's... Uh, but uh, yeah, it's uh, it's nuts. And you you also um, wrote a uh, original Christmas song, and it's being uh, re released, I guess, on a, a Chicago box set. Well, I co wrote it with Bill. Um, it's yeah. called Bethlehem, and it was on yeah. uh, one of the Chicago Christmas records. And it was uh, what's it going to be, Santa? I think it was probably yeah. the second Christmas thing that they put out. And yeah. uh, I, th I don't know who if it was Phil Ramone doing it or what. They were they were just looking, you know. They were all doing mostly um, the songs that were public domain, you know, and and they would just rearrange those things. And you know, the one where Bill singing uh, Santa Claus is coming and yeah, all Santa Claus. Yeah, uh, I mean, it's still my favorite Christmas song of all yeah. time is, uh, is Bill. So, singing, you know? Yeah, so it's been on a couple hits records i guess you know it gets released every now and then a, or every christmas and, and, and but this one's yeah. a box set with like three discs in it i think yeah and i just yeah. saw them releasing that i was kind of excited to see it you know yeah back out there again and uh, <laughs> surprise. Some, <laughs> kind of yeah. surprised and get excited some, to see it get some fresh ears on it yeah that's a good song though bethlehem uh it's uh i i've heard yeah. the death demo which is great i think it's you and bill singing it and then the chicago version i believe it's like bill we actually did it with the sons of champlin too live on a a show up in i think in sacramento we i think we were up there and it was christmas and we played it i think we did it live you know so oh, nice yeah i think there's a, a version of that somewhere and Dale Howell said, I heard super flower moon unplugged and thought it was great then i heard it with the band and enjoyed it even more Dale helped, you know, we did one little uh, songwriter night and uh, uh, with my friend Jody Siegel and yeah. uh, who's a great singer, songwriter, guitar player. And and uh, and it was John Townsend and, uh, you know, from Sanford Townsend Band. And uh -huh. then and yeah. me and Bill did a segment of it. And so we did we played it live that night and we hadn't done any shows in a while. I mean, little shows like that, you know, we're just songwriter nights. So we yeah. just happened to do that. And, uh, um, and uh, Dale flew out from uh, like Dallas. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and we were actually, we were up in Marin County last, last uh, about two weeks ago on Labor Day, we did a show with Sons of Champlin and he flew out there for that one too. It was really nice. A really good yeah. guy and he took some really great pictures for us and kind of i know i've been saying for over 10 years i'm going to come out and check well, you to go to one Labor day. day. that's a fun one but we may be that's what i'm talking about the rancho uh what's it called rancho, rancho but yeah, i think that's we may be doing uh, a show up in uh with the sons again in in a couple months oh, you know, okay. maybe right after the first of the year if it's if we don't get snowed in or something up there yeah <laughs> <laughs> we can get there yeah, uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's always uh, I, I always want. That's to been a regular gig for the Sons of Champlin every uh, every year for over ten years, and it yeah. seems to it's he he does a uh, uh, Bob Brown who used to be Huey Lewis's manager owns it with Angela Strahey his his wife um, who used to run Antones, 
who used to have Antones out there and she's a great singer herself. And so they, uh, they have on the, in the summertime, they have a whole, every Sunday, a barbecue with, you know, Pablo Cruz and all sorts of bands around there that play. And, yeah. uh, and, and so we just end up kind of closing the season of that, that, uh, Oh, nice. The and everything with the Sons of Channel has been kind of a tr become a tradition. So we've been doing that a lot. And now where 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 is that in proximity to L.A.? Uh, well, that's up in uh, Marin County. Uh, oh, in that's San America. Ra oh, OK. In San, San Rafael. And it's actually in uh, the town of Nicasio, which is uh, kind of out in the middle of nowhere. It's really beautiful. It's uh, the road okay. that, um, it's like the road that, um, um, what's the road? What's that road that Nicasio? Lucas what? Lucas. Yeah, Lucas Valley Road. And it's where all the Star Wars films got filmed, you know? You know, oh, they're gotcha. when they're flying through the trees and, and uh, with the yeah. Ewoks and stuff, it's kind of, it's, it's out there. Yeah, I should have. I should have known. Uh, it was uh, Marin County. I forgot. That's the. That's where Huey Lewis and Bill and all them. They're from. That. It's that a real Marin fun County. place to go. Yeah. So I mean, and sometimes we do more than one show. Um, you know, up there at the time at a time. So we were there often. You know, for for a couple couple evenings in a row. And um, this time we just did Rancho and came back because I was going to Europe. Is uh is Huey Lewis still performing? Wasn't he having problems like going deaf or something? I heard. Did you hear about that? He actually has, you know, he actually has Munier's disease, which is I think that's what it is, and yeah. it it just makes everything a giant noise when when you're in a room when it's more than just speaking to somebody. So yeah. he's not not deaf, but but. But loud noises. Some people are get get it from uh, in ear monitors and stuff too. I think. Oh wow! Yeah. Yeah, but but actually, with this last show we did, um, Bob uh, Bill Gibson from his his drummer played it uh -huh. with us. So uh, oh, okay. our drummer um, Alan Hertz moved to Nashville, and so um, we kind of kept it local and went up and rehearsed with a, with a few new guys and. So we oh, had nice. we had Bill Gibson playing with us. So we're hoping yeah. to do some more shows. Oh, that's awesome! Yeah, I, I saw Huey Lewis in the news one time. I think they opened for yeah, they opened for Chicago because I remember Bill coming out and playing guitar. Yeah, with the they're buddies. So, they're all good friends. They've, yeah, they've known each other since they were kids. You know. Yeah, that, that's awesome. Since they were but, kids. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Now you're originally from Texas. Would you ever go back? I know, like you know, you know. I, Jake, uh, Pat, when I do radio, his mom's Roseanne, they moved out to Texas. A lot of people from LA and the entertainment business are going. I to like Texas. it. I mean, I love going out there and, and being there. And I just don't know that, that our, it's a setup for us to go, you know. Yeah. Um, I guess it's not musicians going out there. It's mainly like comedians and radio people. No, going I, out there. I, I did. I worked with music before I came out here with yeah. a whole lot of people. And I'm sure I could, we could, do that yeah. but it's kind of like starting all over and, yeah and, you know, and we have a place in vegas that we can do that oh yeah <laughs> and that's hard enough to go do start over there i kind of yeah. like i kind of like the west side a little bit better but i, I do, do i mean i love the land there and i would love to have something you know yeah now, where, where are you in vegas are you in like a uh in like a suite or do you got like a house yes. out there yeah. you... bill bill sorry hang on one second hey right. Don't do that now, please. It's really loud. I'm doing a podcast. <laughs> what's he? What, what's he doing? It's, it's okay. He's grinding coffee, but it's like oh. really. Oh. <laughs> it's a, he, let the man. The, the, the man's a legend. Let him drink his coffee. I don't care. You can. <laughs> okay. Well, it's just loud. The machine's loud. You know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, so yeah, like, it's like a, I see a lot of people going out the, like, now to the Austin area. I think Joe Rogan opened a club out there and everything. Oh, yeah, and, and uh, Austin, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Texas is like another uh branch off from like LA, Nashville, and now Austin is like in the mix for like entertainers are moving out there, and you know, New York City, and a lot of a people lot of are people leaving LA and out. New York City going out there. And a lot of folks that live there now too that that yeah. are on the road 
with people, you know, with bands and stuff, and they're actually moved to Austin as well. I mean, I lo we we looked at it. We we started. We went to Austin right after we had the earthquake in 1994 and thought about moving out there. Yeah. Um, but uh, you know, so we you got to have your coffee. Yeah, yeah. It's like <laughs> really, and like it's seven o'clock at night. Are you serious? Okay, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's a night coffee drinker. It's, 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 it's now now Bill's going to be up all night drinking coffee. <laughs> yeah, I I, I kind of switched over to tea while I was in England, you know, because oh yeah, they uh, to get a cup yeah. of tea than it is to get a cup of coffee there. Yeah, they when I uh, went out to Thailand, a lot of people from the UK were there, and uh, they, what are they? They say a lot of everything like an apartment is called like a flat. Uh, they call it, or, yeah. And then uh, the potato chips. They call they're crisps. elevators to lift. Oh, lift, yeah. Potato chips yeah. are crisps. I remember Crisp. that. Yeah. And, um, and and cookies or biscuits. That's right. Yeah, cookies or biscuits. Yeah. It's uh, yeah. I, I I haven't been to UK. I want to go, but uh, yeah, I've been to Greece, Italy, and, and Thailand now. I've been to Italy, but I haven't been to Greece or Thailand. That's pretty yeah. cool. I'd really yeah. like to. Thailand, and I really want to go to Greece, but I'd like to go to Italy again. And yeah, me too. Yeah, Italy's great. That's fun. I love to yes. travel. Yeah. Um, well, I had a good time with my sister because it was pretty funny when we traveled together. Yeah, you guys look a lot alike. Just just being in a you know sharing the same bathroom with my sisters is is, is amazing because wow. <laughs> there's makeup everywhere. You know. It's like two girls in high school, you know, it's like yeah. all over the place. <laughs> Teenagers or something, you know, yeah. we're old, but we're immature. So like I said. <laughs> how long were you out there? A, a full week or we were, just a few days? We were, yeah. We went Thursday until, until over a week till the following, following Friday. And we even came back uh, a couple days early. So. Wow. Okay. So, yeah. I thought we'd still well, be there. I well, I am going to uh, let everybody listen uh, to uh, the new single, if that's all right with you, uh, a Super sure. Flower Moon. And uh, we'll be back with, uh, with more Tamara Champlin. But uh, let's, play, let's play this. Uh, cool. i keep it up here. All right. Here it is, written by Tamara Champlin uh, and uh, Michael Caruso. You could do SEO smarter. And uh, wow. Well. If I could do it without the ads, that would be better. But uh, <laughs> or this is uh, this is the newest thing. It's available on um, iTunes, Spotify. Get it everywhere uh, you get music, and uh, it is called uh, Super Flower. Music. Maybe I was just a little out of my mind Intoxicated at the thought of you I was simply tangled in the music of the night To a melody out of tune Not that I was feeling it forever that night but I swore you could feel it too Maybe I misread the light shining in your eyes But I was blinded by a super flower moon Couldn't read the signs Or between the lines Or catch a falling star I let slip by i 
But uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, there it was. Uh, Super Flower Moon, written by Tamara Champlin, performed by Tamara Champlin, written by Tamara Champlin, and Michael Caruso, who writes the theme song right here for the Rob Soul Show, Good When You're Gone. Tamara, it is, uh, you uh, You must be having a blast. Still, uh, you know. Uh, uh, well, I'm kind of happy to get, you know, I kind of waited a long time to get some things released, and and I've, I've actually had, in the past, uh, well, about half a dozen songs just released. Not, not a whole. Uh, hello, Rob Saul show. Things, but, but, yeah. but a few, you know, a few things just uh, released and and trying to get, you know, get them out there because I kind of yeah. sat on them for a while. Yeah. Uh, I dug it. It was a pretty song, girl. Stephen Bull. Well, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. In fact, Tamara also has a song called is that, That's You, right? That uh, you and Michael, the pretty one she cries. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't I know when I to... heard pretty, that song popped in my mind. I don't know. <laughs> that, that's a great song, too. That's, you, you know, you know what some point, we just decided to, to write just the two of us. You know, we wrote, we've written with a lot of other co writers. And uh, you know what came on my playlist when I was uh, on the elliptical today working out was uh, uh, The Sons of Champlin, I'm Not Your Lover. Another Caruso, uh, Tamara Champlin jam. I love that one. Oh, thanks. That's nice. Yeah. yeah I like, and then Rita Coolidge did it also. And, but yeah, I, yeah. That's, that was a, it was nice to have that done. Have that didn't Rita do Shoe Ra too? Or somebody did Shoe Ra. She did. It? She did, I yeah. think, all three of those. Uh, Runaway Love, Shoe Ra, and I'm Not Your Lover. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so... Fantastic. Um, well, sources want to know, um, did you let Bill finish grinding his coffee during the song? No, he went in the other room to watch uh, watch TV in the back room. <laughs> All right. So they, uh, people think you're depriving Bill of his coffee. I don't know. No, oh, no. Worry. Well, no, he was, I think he was probably grinding it for the morning. Oh, uh, for know? the morning. <laughs> okay. Because he's, he's like that way. He makes, I'm making the coffee set up. All you got to do is push the button in the morning. And it's like, oh, uh, yeah. Oh, so you, so you do press the button. I thought maybe you had like a timer. No, I don't have it. to think too much in the morning. I, I spill it everywhere, <laughs> I, you know. So, so how often are you uh, staying in Vegas? I was asking you, did you guys buy a house out there? Or do you have like we a, a house out there? And we were, we were really spending a lot of time there. We we're trying to, trying to figure out if we could move there and everything. Then we just decided, Bill, Bill had some, we had a lot of stuff to do here on a lot of personal things and a lot of business stuff. So 
we just rented it out for a little while. So oh, you rented kind of, it out? Okay. Yeah, so it's it's getting rented, so you know it's making yeah. money. <laughs> Yeah, it's just bringing in. Always bringing like in I mean, it's really nice to have a if you, if you you know, it's like a second house, but I just can't afford it as a second house. You know, it's just to do nothing with it. Yeah, and, yeah. and funny thing is, if you don't rent it, you can't deduct the rent on your taxes. You know. Oh yeah. So, <laughs> oh. There's no rent. You can't deduct it on your taxes. So. Uh, how far away is the house from like the Vegas Strip? It's not far. It's it's in Summerlin, um, almost Summerlin. It's, it's just it's by the lakes or something like that. It's kind of uh, it's it's really really close. It takes about fifteen minutes driving. Every block is like a, a light year away. You know, there that's really spread out. You know, you can see the you can see the uh, the strip, but it takes a while to get there. So it's about twenty minutes. Yeah. Ah, it's not bad. It, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, you can actually see it all, but it just takes uh, an awful lot of stoplights to get there. Yeah. Uh, I put a I little, know. I put a little cup in this little machine and push a button and I have coffee. K cups are my friend. If I know Tamara, I've known Tamara for years. I have a, yeah. That's what I do, but he's, you know. I Oh, you just, oh, it's Bill. See, I was just going to say, I, I was wrong. I, I thought I knew Tamara. I was going to say Tamara's bougie and probably wants fresh ground beans. <laughs> no, I, I'm happy to. It's fine with me. In fact, yeah. I, I kind of started doing that just because it, it kept me from drinking too much coffee. You know, oh, I would yeah. just two of them in the morning and I was kind of, I, I might yeah. have a you know, or something but, later, but, but it, just the measured amount was yeah. way better than me making, uh, you know, really thick mud in the morning. So, yeah. and, just, and then, uh, uh, <laughs> you know, yeah. but, um, with but Bill, yeah. yeah, so Bill will drink it. He drinks it more <laughs> than yeah, I do. The with the K cups, that's I, I was the same way. I drank less coffee because when you brew a whole pot, for some reason, you think you have to finish it. You're like, yeah, but it costs you more. So you know, you'll yeah. drink less coffee, but it'll cost you more. So yeah, exactly. <laughs> So uh, go figure. <laughs> but whatever. <laughs> oh geez. Yeah, uh, but another great song uh that Tamar wrote uh is called uh Southern Serenade. Um I like the studio version, but the live version uh with you yeah. and Bill on May Day is uh is killer. Oh yeah. Oh that's I, cool. Yeah, that's a I remember uh geez, gosh, I'm I'm aging myself. I was pushing carts at the Ocean City Acme, and I would carry on one of those big discs men, you know, where you put a whole CD in it, you know. And you oh you wow! It, and uh, I would put the Mayday, and I would, I would, I would, I would, I would, I would push carts and listen to Mayday and, and Southern Serenade <laughs> <laughs> in Ocean City, New oh. Jersey, listening to Southern Serenade. <laughs> but uh, wow. yeah, I, like that? what's that? Are you playing that tonight or? Or did we well, just talk? Yeah, I, 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 you know what I, I, I do now that I, I talked about it. I, I am going to play it because, uh, um, I that I was tell you. that was a, that was a kind of cool because I I started that I was just sitting in my mom's backyard in Texas and mm -hmm. I started writing that and I'm guitar, but then then Bill jumped in on it and it. And oh, yeah. It was, <laughs> yeah. yeah, this is the uh, yeah this is the. This is the live version from uh, May Day. It's uh, great. You hear that, Tam? Yeah. There's a sweet magnolia on the porch tree, and the willow drips like honey from a midnight rain. I keep running, 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 and it calls me back again, like a song from yesterday. Southern serenade left my heart in pieces across this great divide. Now I see the Mississippi from the other side for a little piece of Memphis. No, I gladly give it 
With this California dreaming Ooh. Ain't no southern serenade Ooh. I can hear the voices singing Ooh. I can hear the morning rain Ooh. I can hear the church bells ringing Ooh. I can see the children play Hey, 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 won't you take me home today? There's a list slowly rolling across the Gulf of Mexico And the yearning that's unfolding everywhere and everywhere I go And the melody that I'm hearing that helps me out my way like a song from yesterday A summer's every day I can hear the voices singing I can feel the morning rain I can hear the church bells ringing I can see the children day To the left at sunset, I was on my way. I've been driving through Texas today. Yeah, this uh, live version is uh, is fantastic of uh of oh. Southern Serenade. I love it. I just, uh, uh, hey, na na na, it's everything going on. And as, as Stephen Bull said, good work. The writing is gold. Uh, some dude said, are we serenading a copyright strike? Yes, YouTube does give a lot of copyright strikes, but fortunately, uh, the woman sitting with me wrote it with her husband. So I don't think they're going to strike me for uh, playing the song. I hope not. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, I don't think so. Yeah. Yeah, so that's no uh, problem here. <laughs> <laughs> um, although I do, uh, I, I well, I don't anymore, but I used to get uh, alerts that uh, about copyright when I used to play the uh, the Rob Saul theme song because I guess you know it, it's copyrighted. But uh, I, I think my, uh, my song. Yeah, yeah, the good when you're gone. But I think that got fixed because I don't get that. Uh, somebody said it's got that 70s FM radio old school vibe to it. Yeah, I loved it. I mean, that uh, May Day, that was, I mean, I just brought it because I remember, like I said, I was, I remember being 16 listening to it. Like I said, when I was pushing carts at Acme. So I think it was, uh, it was released though in what, 95? Yeah. I think so. I mean, we had just uh, been doing some touring and we were in Europe with, uh, um, God, it was, we had first, I guess we were in Sweden and, and Amsterdam and Norway and all those places playing Scandinavia a lot. And uh, I think Greg Matheson was doing that one tour with us. And we came back and went in and did May Day right away as we just got off the road. So, so it yeah. was, we've been playing live. So for a while, yeah. so. I mean, a couple of weeks at least anyway. So, yeah, it was kind of fun. Yeah. Mayday, Mayday was a, that was a great album. That's a great CD. Uh, I think. Well, did uh, you ever, did you get the Wonderground record? The Wonderground. I, you know what? I don't think I have that when I got the, um, okay, Bill's the solo. Yeah. But, uh, I don't, I don't well, think I have. It's really, you know, I mean, we kind of did it all during, well, was it COVID or was it before that? It was really was when Bill had uh, was kind of sick, and so we just started writing it. Uh, oh, wow. Gary Gary Falcone and Bill and I just started writing everything and recording it, and so it was really a, a band effort, you know. So yeah, there's a whole lot of stuff on there. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna have to check that one out and really uh, pretty, uh, listen to that. Pretty rocking stuff on that. It's pretty crazy. Um. <laughs> Uh, Stephen Bull wants to know, do you play any instruments, Tad? Well, I, I yeah, but badly. But, you know. <laughs> um, it's <Yeah>. uh, <laughs> nice, I know, but uh, you have a great uh, audience. 
Yeah, so you have to get the Wonderground CD. It's awesome. Yeah, I will. Uh, I will check it out. Uh, I'll try. But, uh, I'll try. And get you. I'll send you one. All right. Yeah. I mean, uh, it's great. Uh, yeah, because uh, Wonderground. I think I did hear some clips of it. Yeah, because Gary Falcone. I do. I remember. I think I saw some stuff on Facebook, but I never. Yeah, because that was good. And uh, the Living for Love album uh, that you did with Bill was great, and uh, yeah. it was just uh, a lot of good stuff. And then, of course. You know, one of my another one of my favorite um, uh, albums is uh, "There's No Place Left to Fall," and uh, you did a, some work on there and wrote some stuff. The the title track, I think you and Caruso wrote with Bill, called uh, "No Place Left to Fall." That's a beautiful song. Uh, "Tugging on Your Sleeve," uh, it's you, uh, Bill, and Will singing, and that's, uh, that's a, a that's a that's a great song. Yeah, <laughs> um, <clears throat> but uh, yeah. It's, it, it's, you you got to check it out. And, and by the way, I also wanted to tell everybody too, Tamara's uh, website is updated. So if you want to uh, check out her uh, uh, music and find out what's going on uh, with her, where she'll be performing, uh, whether it's her stuff or, or performing with Sons of Champlin or with Bill, uh, TamaraChamplin.com. Again, TamaraChamplin.com. And you can, uh, you can check out all her music and stuff there. Uh, I mean, what a, what a body of work. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. It, you know, there really is a lot. And, you know, there's a new uh, CWF album out that's that um, uh, with Peter Freestat. And it's normally, you know, Joseph Williams and Bill and Peter. But I got to say, uh, uh, this is not really on this last album much because he's involved in Toto so much. So, uh, yeah, Toto's uh, kind of yeah. locked into Toto pretty seriously. So. So actually, Jason sang one song on it, and Bill and I did a version of uh, "The Last Time Broken Heart." Oh yeah, that, yeah. That he did with that he had done with Patty Labelle. So we did we did a version of that, a duet, an actual duet, you know. Yeah, and, I, you guys actually, you guys did that song uh, the last time you and Bill were here on uh, on Soul Show. You guys performed that song. Oh yeah, yeah. So, I mean, yeah. we, we always kind of do it when we're playing, just especially when we do our duet things, you know, the, the duo stuff yeah. that we do. So we always tended to play that. And uh, and Joseph Williams was one of the writers on that. So it was oh, uh, okay. so it fit well with the with the Champlain CWF yeah. thing, I guess. Would you uh, ever consider doing uh, what's another good uh, Bill duet that I liked uh, from Chicago 30? Would you ever do uh, Why Can't We with them? Wait a minute. We did one of those things. The one wasn't there a girl singing on one of these songs? Yeah. Why Can't We? It was, I forget. Well, I, did the, I did the demo of it with him. Oh, you and, did. And, oh, okay. And when they thought they thought it was going to, they were going to do a duet with uh, uh, Shania Twain, but they uh, couldn't get Shania Twain to do it. And, uh, they ended now up with, I can't remember who ended up singing on it, but um, oh, the, man, no, the manager actually said you should have just left left it with Bill and Tamara. It would have been better. Yeah. <laughs> so, even the manager was... said that. But um, <laughs> it was real kind of nice of him. But, yeah. Um, well, I, well, next time I, you and Bill come on the show, I want you to do that one live. Well, you know, I have to, I'll have to find that because because yeah. there is a good demo of that somewhere. Yeah. And 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 there was a lot of good things on that record, I think. Yeah, but, yeah. Darn. Uh, Thanks for reminding well, me about that. Yeah. No, yeah, that was another one that uh, popped up on my playlist. And I, you guys had just done the show like a couple weeks before. And you did uh, If You're Not the One for Me and The Last oh. Unbroken Heart. And uh, that came on. And I said, I forgot about this song on Chicago 30. And it's Bill and... Yeah. Some girls sing, and I said, "I bet you." Uh, I said, "I want Bill and uh, Tamar to sing. I want to hear them sing this one live." If I find the demo, I'll, I'll send it to you. Yeah, <laughs> Bill has everything. He keeps everything. You know those kind of things. He really, yeah. he's pretty organized that way. Um, yeah, I think Michael and I are threatening to do a duet. Oh yeah. Yeah, we you know we've got so many songs that it's like. It's time to maybe we'll do it with Vagabond Heart. I don't know. Oh yeah, yeah, that's an idea. But not but, that uh, one. There's another new song that we have that kind of in the, in you know, the swirling around that we're trying to finish and 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 record it together. 
So. Besides uh, your husband, Bill, and his band and, and working with Michael Caruso, who would you say you've worked with so many artists? Who is your favorite artist that you have worked with? And like I said, nothing included in with, with Bill or Michael, just, uh, you know. Well, hmm. I, like, I'm trying worked, to... Like, you know, you've done a lot of backgrounds. So, like, just like... Uh... Well, I got to say the Elton John thing was my first superstar date, and it was like, just knocked yeah. me out doing that. But What'd then... You do uh, with I sang on his album. Um, it's called The Fox. It was a couple of songs I, uh, called The Heels of the Wind. And there was an, two songs. I can't even remember the second one, but I know one was called with The, the Heels of the Wind. And it was really neat. I mean, it was um, that was like in 1981, I think, 80, 81. Oh, okay. But um, I, I don't know. I like everybody I've worked with. I don't. I don't know anybody that yeah that wasn't cool you know um well, we're, the we're, last we're, we're, thing we did was um uh, a song we wrote was uh that that michael mcdonald sang on with us and we it was on the champlin williams the cwf record and uh so we kind of he came over here and sang something that that we had written and i was just like giggling hearing somebody like that sing I, I, you know, I like Paul Rogers doing my once that one song, um, Stone Cold. That was kind of the biggest rush. Oh, Paul Rogers, okay, yeah, yeah, nice, awesome. That was you quite know. quite exciting having him do that because I was and I was in England at the time, and he actually performed that song. The one and only time he played with the band, the the Law, that he did that album with. I was I actually was in the audience standing in the in the vocal in the sound booth with the in with the mixers listening to it and that one time that that band played together live at a big Milton Keynes big festival outside they played uh Stone Cold that I wrote with Terry Wilson and, oh, and nice. it's pretty neat it was pretty neat to hear yeah so yeah and he's a pretty nice guy too so he was pretty yeah. sweet and a great singer, one of my favorite singers in the world. Now I did uh, listen to the CWF. That's what I did. That is some good stuff. That's uh, Joseph Williams, Toto, you and uh, Bill Champlin, uh, Peter Free. Yeah. But uh, then the live, you, there was a live album too. I, I got to add one of my. Yeah, I don't one remember of my, that one too much. What's that? I don't remember that too much. What the live I think one? Mine, you know, and it was. What's that? I don't remember it too much. It was just like one night, you know, live. Oh, uh, live. Hey, it was good. It sounded good. You were on stage. You oh, sounded yeah. great. I remember there was a, there was a version you guys did look away and uh, you like sang at the end of it and did like this soulful run at the end. It was really good. Wow. I don't remember that, but that's. And even Bill I remember the, when the song was over, Bill went, that was fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Yeah. But oh. I, yeah. Yeah, that's a uh, yeah. So so much stuff, and and, and again, TamaraChamplin dot com. Her newest single, "Super Flower Moon," written with Michael Caruso and her, is uh, available everywhere. And uh, I was checking out her website. Uh, you know, everything's there from the Amazon uh, playlist to the Spotify, uh, Apple yeah, iTunes. Cool. You, you can find everything there. Uh, it's uh, it's fantastic, uh, Tamara. It is oh, always. Yeah a pleasure to have you on the program. Um, is there well, any, thanks for having me. I, I was yeah, hoping so to get Michael to call, you know, to join in with us, but I can't find him. I think he might be, yes. might be working in the studio or something. Yes. Uh, let's say this guy, uh, I think he's got a, I got a crush on you, Tamara. You know, he's asking about if you sing in the shower, I don't know. It's, Tamara sings everywhere. It's, uh, you know, it's, uh, she, she's, Wherever. a. Uh, she's, <laughs> Wherever I can get away with it. <laughs> <laughs> um, anything uh, you want to plug, Tamara? Are you going to be anywhere? Anything besides you know, Tamara? I'm, really I'm, not, I'm not sure. I just got off the plane and I'm a kind of a zombie, you know, so for, bear with me for being a little bit spaced out tonight. But but um, um, I, I'm not sure what's going on right now, but it should be coming up. The, you know, whatever's happening will be on my website or Facebook or you know, I put it on Instagram the minute I get news of anything. And so yeah. I'm just kind of, kind of 
kind of going in between several little groups and everything like that. So, so we'll see what's happening. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, again, TamaraChamplin.com. Uh, Tamara, thank you for coming on the show. We'll have you back on again soon. And uh, it's always good to see you. And okay, I'll put out another single and we can do it again. <laughs> yeah. And, okay. Come, come down to Dirty Jersey with, uh, with Bill. And, oh, I'd uh, love to. I, you know, I, that's a, <laughs> I'd love to go when it, when it gets to the East Coast because I haven't been in, in a while. Been When's a the last time? Yeah, well, no, it's been longer than I, well, I don't know. Uh, Last time I seen you on the East Coast was Atlantic City at uh, Harris when we when we had lunch before the show. That was yeah, you know, and I, I I just don't um, I think we did um well we were playing with Ambrosia. We did a show with Ambrosia on Long Long Island. Uh, oh before. yeah, that's right. That's okay. Yeah, and I'm that was that. I think that might have been the last, but there might have been another one since then. But I just can't remember it. You know, the things would get yeah. foggy every now and then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I what know. Was young as, uh, oh yeah, yeah. You know, it's like somebody will remind me of things. I'm going, I don't remember anything. You know. <laughs> I mean, uh, my sister would remind me of things in high school. I go, what? I have uh, no idea what you're talking about. Uh I'm the opposite. Like I, I can't remember what I've what I talked about an hour ago, but uh yeah. I can tell you something that happened. Well that's to me that short term part. memory loss, right? Yeah. yeah, but I can tell you what happened, like 10 years ago, but I can't tell you what happened yesterday. So it's, uh, well, I guess. well thanks for whoever's listening. I really appreciate y'all. Uh, yeah. Thanks. Uh, yeah. The, we're on a special night in time. Uh, we will be back on Tuesday doing our regular show. Uh, we're going to do a, wanted to do a little spotlight and talk about, uh, Tamara Champlin's new single, uh, a super flower moon. And, uh, you know, I love that. You know, it's I, really cool because, uh, uh, Steve Percaro really added a lot to that as well from yeah. Toto and he, he just puts the, the coolest groove on things and, and sounds and, and it just comes out like, like yeah. delicious, you know? And so delicious. it was really <laughs> fun to have, have it, and it's really just Will and, and, and Steve and, and John, uh, John Zaka and Michael and me, you know, involved in that. So it was kind of fun little thing. Yeah. Um, well, listen, uh, what, what sh I'm going to play us out with something. All right. Well, here, uh, we'll see you next time on Tuesday on the Rob Saul show. Uh, here is a song, uh, written by, uh, Tamara Bill and Caruso from no place left to call. It's a little funky something called tugging on your sleeve. Oh, <laughs> great. <laughs> Actually, let's do a little. That's a little. I want to do a little. I'm going to rock out a little more. Do a little. You won't get to heaven alive. Thanks, Rob. <laughs>